$175 for this, you guys. Can you believe it? Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we're going to talk about Bolos. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can hopefully buy low and flip for a profit, either on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, all the places. All the places. I'm going to tell you where they got it what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So share your best July bolo is what we're looking at. Uh, Facebook members shared their bolo under this post, and I'm going to feature their bolo and tell you guys all about it. If you would like to share a bolo to be featured in a video like this, there is a link down below my link tree, and you can join the group. Or if you're already in it, just go to the announcements section, featured section at the top of the group, and share your bolo. Please be sure to shout out any social media, YouTube, um, what else? Selling platforms that you want me to mention in the video. That way you guys get a little exposure and I appreciate everybody sharing. So the first one here picked up for $3 at a local thrift store and sold on, sold for 42. She said, I also sell on Mercari under Crystals, Crystal Angels and Poshmark Inked Mommy 812. And this is, I think, her eBay. Thank you for all your tips with and bolos. I get so excited when I find one. Yes. So she sold it for 42 And you guys, it's just a handmade dress. It's a prairie handmade dress. Somebody made it. It's not even like, it's not even store bought. Here's Cat feeling thrifty. And she is over on Whatnot. She's one of my moderators and a really good friend of mine. Be sure to follow her on Whatnot. She has amazing vintage jewelry. And here is one of the items she sold on eBay. Vintage 1950s Left and Girl Christmas Figurine Japan Shopper Girl. Here she is. She said, picked up this cutie at a, at a church parking lot sale in June for $2. Listed late June, sold for $79.99. So, sold during my eBay store sale for $63.99 plus shipping. Thanks for sharing, Courtney. You are much appreciated. Thank you for sharing, Kat. And it's Christmas item. Christmas sells all year, guys. All year. Get it listed. Tupperware. Tupperware. You know what I'm going to hear. You know why she did this. She did this because she knows that Farm Girl Scavenger Noel talks about Tupperware all the time. And I'm like, I don't want to list Tupperware. It's boring. Pick these up at a yard sale for six in June. Never used. Still with plastic. Listed for 35. Sold on eBay sale for $26.25 plus shipping. Tupperware is still a bolo. Just ask Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. She didn't say just ask Bolo because she knows I am not. A, I don't I don't like to list Tupperware. I know it's a Bolo. I just don't like to list it. It's boring. It's kind of like the cat's meow. I know I can sell it. It's just boring to list. All right. 1950s Bosch and Lom B&L 12 karat gold filled vintage cat eye glasses. Super cute. She said, I love selling vintage eyeglass frames. I always pick them up at yard sales, etc. They can take a while to sell, but fun. I got these over the winter for, I believe, $2. Listed for $75. Ran a sale for $56.25. Accepted best offer of $40 plus shipping. Thanks again, Courtney. You are an inspiration. Oh, cat. You're going to make me blush. All right. Cat's so silly. Um, I would put frames only if they have a prescription in the title. I don't know if these have a prescription or not. So uh, the next one. Oh my goodness. Look at this. You guys bought this ugly purse at a yard sale for $2, sold it for 125. I bet you did. <laughs> Plus shipping less than two months. I remembered that weird sells and thought, why not? Was shocked at the comps when I looked it up. I'm useful treasures for you on eBay and useful treasures on Mercari. Thanks, Courtney, for putting the effort into making these Bolo videos. They are super helpful. Oh, my goodness. That is awesome. It's a toad purse. It is a toad purse. Get out of here. Get out of here with the toad purse. All right. Vintage Nasco iridescent footed teacup saucer Del Coronado pink gold granny core. Bought this cup and saucer at a thrift store for three. Took a while, but it sold for 45 plus shipping. That is an item I would not want to ship. No way. Nope. No, thank you. No, thank you. Let me know in the comments. Do you like to ship breakables? If anybody says yes, I'm just going to be very confused. Uh, 1944 book. Simple 
Aerodynamics by Carter, fifth edition hardcover. She said, I love books and I love to find the old ones. Found this at a yard sale for a dollar, sold it for $49.99 plus shipping. Books can take a while to sell, but I don't mind. Easy to store, easy to list, easy to ship. And that's what I think about plush. Easy to list, easy to ship, easy to find cheap, just like books. And yeah, sometimes they're long tail, but some go for big money. 2015 Sesame Street Learning Cookie Monster case on the go numbers one through 10 complete. There it is. My niece found this Sesame Street Cookie Monster travel toy at the Benz. I had seen it in a week prior, but set it back down without opening it. She opened it and was it was complete. Took it home, looked it up, found out they are pretty decent bolos with a good sell through rate. Listed it for $50.97 and sold within four days for full asking price. Awesome. We are Diamonds in the Stuff on eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. Diamonds in the Stuff. I love that name. Here is another one from Picker Money Flipper, and uh, it's more tampons. Yes, this is a 50 count. Super plus 50 count. Two of them. Unscented. 100. New in the box. She said, paid five at a yard sale for both tampons, accepted an offer of $175. She had it at $237.45, $175 for this, you guys. Can you believe it? All right, this one. Found this beautiful old glass vase at the outlet, sitting between the wooden bins just as we were about to leave. It was heavy, so I flipped it over and noticed the pond tail mark on the bottom and knew it was something good. I had done an internship in college decades ago working in the anthropology lab and glass bottles with glass bottles. I hadn't yet looked it up to get the right descriptive terms, including pond tail mark before my sister posted it at 3 a.m. It sold within four hours, possibly should have put it on auction, but happy with the quick flip for something that we found at the last minute at the bins. Our purchase price was 81 cents on that day. Sold for $125.97. Wow. 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 Awesome. This one says. My first bolo, I picked this vintage Tascam Porta Studio up at Goodwill for $7.99. I listed it June 26th and it sold for full asking price plus shipping of $200 on July 27th. So $200 plus $200 shipping? Wow. Or was, wait, did it cost $200 to ship? I'm confused. I don't know. No, 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 no. She's saying it sold for 200. Shipping was uh 1781. Okay. All right, good thing we had that photo or I would have been really confused. It's a this thing. It's a, some sort of recorder. Paid 50 cents at a school rummage sale, accepted a best offer of 70 because it was super stained. It is a vintage MC Escore Softy USA single stitch abstract art t-shirt medium. Wheelie good flips. Wheelie Good Flips. I love your name. Wheelie Good Flips. That's awesome. And you can see here, she said it had a lot of stains, but that's an interesting shirt, right? The next one is um, one of mine. This is Lunch at the Ritz Clip-On Replacement Single Fish Earring. This is one earring. I'm guessing somebody's going to craft with this, maybe make a brooch or do something cool with it, or maybe they needed a replacement. I sold this for $37 and the buyer paid shipping. This, my husband found, it is a vintage Hoglofts Mora, I don't know, it's something, a borer for trees. He brought this home and he's like, check this out. I'm like, how on earth did you know what that was and to pick it up? And I think he just picked it up, typed it in, thought it looked interesting. It was some type of tool. And I want to say this sold for 125. Don't quote me on that. It was 100 to 125. But anyway, my husband knows a lot about tools, but he had not seen one of these before. And it was definitely a bolo. He has a great eye. So yeah, bolo for the hubby. All right. This is a vintage 1995 Universal Studios Balto, Balto, large dog plush. Purchased at a yard sale for a dollar, sold on Mercari for 101 plus shipping with no seller fees. 1995 Jenna dog from the movie Balto, sold within a few days of listing for 101 plus shipping. You guys, plush does awesome on Mercari. So um, definitely get your plush over there. And again, my, rec my Mercari referral link is down below. You can get $10 to shop with that when you join and another uh, $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of items. 
And I've got one more here. I'm trying to find it. Two more. I'm sorry. Cheer Ultra Stay Colorful Fresh Clean Scent Powder. Cost me $2 or three on clearance at my old job. Had it sitting in my garage for about a year or two. Sold in a week. They didn't even ask for lower. Is this laundry detergent? $150? What? Wow. All right, here's the next one. Uh, let's see. Hi, I purchased a pair of Patagonia boots from the Goodwill outlet in Connecticut. The outlet was $1.69 per pound, so I presumed I would pay less than two bucks for the boots. I had them listed for $150 and accepted an offer of $120. My earnings will be $96 after fees. The boots were ordered by a customer in Ohio, and I am in Bronx, New York. My eBay store is Kay's Designer Closet, and my thrifting channel channel on YouTube is Kay Meeks Traveling, the Traveling Thrifter. So you guys check her out on YouTube, and that is her bolo, Patagonia Boots. All right, you guys, what do you think about all that? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, this will be coming to whatnot. It's fun red plastic, and I uh, sell jewelry on whatnot. Dump it sell it. So I'll just throw this on the top of the pile and, uh, or sit it to the side and just be like, Hey, I wore this in a video. Um, it's super cute. You can see how it looks. It's in the thumbnail. <laughs> and you guys, just because I wore it on YouTube does not make it more valuable. I'm just saying it doesn't make it more valuable. Nobody thinks that. So we'll see if anybody wants the fun red necklace. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Referrals and affiliates are down below in the description. Those are things I use for my business. Um, check them out. And a lot of demo and tutorials down there for like List Perfectly and all of that good stuff. Get your coupon, referral codes, and all that. It's all down there. It's all down there. Check out those tutorials. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.